Hello and welcome back to another reading vlog. It is Thursday 12th of January and I thought just did my December reading vlog, really enjoyed it. Let's just do another one. So what am I reading? I haven't finished any book yet this year. So I read 111 books in 2022, completely nailed my reading challenge. And now this year I'm like, maybe I should take it a little bit more easy and get the pressure off and just see how I feel. And uh, yeah, that ends up in me going two weeks in and not finishing any books. But I'm very much nearing finishing a book. Uh, the first book I'm reading namely is Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt, which I'm mostly listening to on audiobook, which is an amazing audiobook. And this is an amazing book. I am almost done. I'm probably going to finish it after creating this video, but this is such a charming book. I want to say feel good book, but I'm not sure yet because I don't know how it ends, but it's so, so pleasurable. And I was listening to it driving home from work yesterday and I literally had moments that I could almost cry. I just would feel uh, something choke up in my throat and not necessarily like sadness, but just kind of that you know where it's gonna go and it makes you apprehensive or a little bit sad as well. And it just touches you so, so much. And if a book can do that and give me it in a in a good way, then I think that's amazing. So I feel like, obviously depending on how it's gonna go, this might be one of my favorite books of 2023, which is interesting. It kind of reminds me when in 2021, I read Anxious People as the first book of the year. And that also ended up being uh, one of my absolute favorites for the entire year. And I think I've got another one of those in my first one. So really, really loving this. Also this cover, how amazing is this cover? So good. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. And then I'm reading another exciting, beautiful read, which is Infamous by Lex Croucher. And I'm about seven chapters in, so not that far in yet. And you've heard me talk about this loads already, because I have been planning on picking this up when I got it in, I think in October or November. And I remember I bought it in a bookstore. I got home and I, something happened when I was, we were still living in the apartment then. And then I lost my key of the apartment while going into the building, probably at the elevator. So I couldn't get into the apartment. I had to wait for my boyfriend who was only gonna be home an hour and a half later. So I ended up sitting in the car and reading this book. And I read like three chapters or so. I also spent a lot of time scrolling on my phone. And I was like, well, let's just continue on with this because now I've got it, now I've started reading it and I just didn't end up doing that. So I did continue it now and I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, obviously I also read Reputation. I think last year or the year before, really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, Lex Crouch is quickly becoming one of my go to feel good, funny, lovable authors. Then I'm reading a ebook, which I'm also fairly, uh, fairly far ahead with, which is, are you gonna see this? Well, it really fits the purple vibe, which is Slug by Holly McNish. It's called Slug and other things I've been told to hate. I picked this up on recommendation of Lauren and the book. She read this last year and I already had it on my list since then. I'm gonna put this down because the dark light situation is too much in, in this depressing weather. Uh, but she really enjoyed it then and I was already, you know, anxious on picking it up then. And then she actually mentioned this in her top five books of 2022 and she read like, what, 150 books or so? So I was like, if it's in her top five, I need to read this immediately. So got the ebook and it is a collection of poems, but also like kind of context essays surrounding the poems. I really like the idea of it and I'm also really liking the book, but it's definitely, I do need to say, not as phenomenal maybe as I expected. I think my expectations were too high and also I think it might be more relevant for people living in the UK. But I also, by the way, need to say I really love the essays and I really like the subjects of it, but I don't necessarily love the poems. I think not all of the poems are really that Good. But overall, very much enjoying it. Definitely gonna finish it, I think, anytime soon. And then the last one I'm not reading yet, but I'm very much contemplating reading it because I think it is the 12th of January now, and I think on the 10th, this work came out, which is Spare by Prince Harry. Although I am not really sure if he completely wrote it on its own or if he wrote it with a ghostwriter. But I haven't read any of the books on Meghan or Prince Harry or whatever. I have also barely seen any of the documentaries or show. I did see the interview with Oprah, but I think that's kind of it. Obviously, I know about it because it's this huge thing. And I live in the Netherlands. We obviously live very close to uh, the UK. And we also are a monarchy. We also have a royal uh, family. So we kind of relate to that sense. But obviously, in the United Kingdom, you have that entire press situation, which we don't have as much. We are a lot... I feel a lot more respectful of our royalties. But this book came out, has a complete 
like the world is shook by it. I think mostly if I get it correct because it came out a little bit too early already. It was already shown in Spanish bookstores and people already were publishing about it before it actually came out. And I think that brought up a lot of media attention. And then I think also it's supposed to be a pretty angry book. And I think a lot of people that were still sympathizing with them now maybe feel like it's becoming too much or whatever. I'm not sure, but if this is the moment for me that I become interested in picking it up because I feel like if a book gets so much hype as a you know excited reader I almost feel the pressure of reading it I'm like I cannot read as much as I do and not read one of those books that is going to be spoken about so much so it just it catch, catches my interest now so yeah most likely gonna read that as well I already read like the first few pages and actually already thought those were written pretty well so that is kind of irking me so I think I'm gonna have to get the ebook and read that one as well so that's what my reading is doing Life-wise, work is okay right now. It's busy, but it's just fine, regular level. I have some interesting things that I want to accomplish. I've got my coordinating suspect tomorrow. My, well, the conversation, which I'm also going to hear from my boss how he's thinking I'm doing. And hopefully, I'm going to maybe get some more money. We'll see. The weather is depressing. The house is amazing. I'm so much enjoying our house. And yeah, let's see where this month brings us. everyone it is friday the 13th actually and i have finished remarkably bright creatures this morning in the car and it was absolutely amazing i really 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 loved it but i will talk to you guys about that later more and i have kind of started listening to scattered showers by rainbow rowell i already read the first two stories previously in other collections which are midnights and kindred spirits and I think I might uh, read the rest. But I'm listening to Kindred Spirits now and I'm really, really enjoying it because I loved it before. So yeah, let's drive home and head into the weekend. It's Saturday and I just wanted to give a quick update. It is extremely depressing weather. Like the weather is so freaking awful. My boyfriend is working outside and doing all kinds of things and I'm just sitting inside. I'm a bit disappointed that it's this bad weather on a day that you're completely free. But at the same time, it is a great reason for me to read and pick up some reading. So I quickly want to give you an update. First of all, I finished Remarkably Bright Creatures yesterday and this book really is like a warm blanket. This is so amazing. It kind of reminded me of The House at the Cerulean Sea. That's also why I say warm blanket because I know that's one of like the blurbs of that book. Not necessarily in the story but more in the feeling it gives you. 
and really just the build up and the connection to the characters yeah this was absolutely amazing and i would recommend this to everyone i have already recommended this to a friend of mine also the cover is beautiful so really really enjoyed this and just a great way to start a new reading year so finish this and then obviously i've already mentioned i'm reading slug and infamous which i'm both loving uh, but I've also picked up Rainbow Rowell's Scattered Showers and I listened to the first two stories in the car yesterday which were Midnight and Killing with Spirits which I already knew but I really love both of them once again definitely Kindle with Spirits and then now I've actually picked up uh, a new short story for me at least and that's Winter Songs for Summer uh, and I'm also really enjoying that so this is just for now like really what I expected of it and I'm just a feel-good short story collection so Really enjoying it. I'm at page 90, so I think if I can continue on this speed, I'll probably finish it within the weekend. So that's my reading, kind of like, look how beautiful these books look together. That's just beautiful colours and happy vibes within your book selection. So I'm, I haven't got any plans today. Tonight my boyfriend is going out for dinner with friends of his, so I'm actually also by myself, so I think I might watch like... There is a complete birds situation happening here. Anyway, so I might watch a movie or I might uh, watch a series. Uh, yeah, let's see what I, uh, I feel up to. So that was the update and I'll talk to you guys later. So welcome back on this short reading update on Tuesday night, which I'm home alone tonight because my boyfriend is to soccer practice. So I'm going to do some reading, although it's not going to be a lot of time because I went into the office today and I'm also going to go into the office tomorrow. So I came home around six and I need to get out of bed again around 5.30. So I only have a short amount of time, but I wanted to give a small update on my reading. So I finished in the meantime slug and other things i've been told to hate by holly mcnish and i really 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 enjoyed this i thought this was such an enjoyable read this is a poetry collection and the fun thing is about it often when i read poetry i feel like if i only would have known what triggered the poem or what the writer was going through at the time or what the context is that it would give me a lot broader experience so often what i do when i read poetry is i also go and google you know any context that can be found on the poem or the writer. What Holly McNish did in this book is she gave that context. So it's a poetry collection, uh, also completely filled with essays of whatever she was thinking about or whatever inspired it or inspired those poems. And I think that's such an interesting concept in, there are a lot of interesting topics in there, like it's about feminism, it's about death, it's about sex, it's about masturbation, it's about puberty, it is very interesting. The only thing I would say is, I thought everything was very nice, I really enjoyed the essays. I did not enjoy all of the poems. I think some of them were just a little bit too easy for me in a way, not, you know, sometimes a writer can play with words or just you make a little bit fun of it or make it a little bit beautiful and I think that was a little bit missing for me and I do need to say, I'm not sure if that was just because I couldn't really relate to the writing style or because reading all the context and reading all those essays kind of took away from the mystery. Overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I would really uh, be interested in reading more about more Holly McNish. But yeah, that would be the only comment I had. Then, still reading Infamous by Lex Croucher. I'm about 100 pages in, very much enjoying it. Uh, almost done with uh, Raymond Rowell's Scattered Showers. I only have one story left. Enjoying this, this is just a really feel-good, addictive read. 
uh, and I just really like these kind of stories. And then finally, obviously, which I already mentioned, I'm now reading uh, Spare by Prince Harry. I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm about 12% in, I want to say, and I think the writing style is fairly good, surprisingly good. And it's also so far pretty interesting and pretty captivating. It's about how he was brought up and obviously when he went through when Diana, his mother, died and things like that. The only thing I will say, I do feel there's some cringy moments in there and I'm not, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I do feel like there's specific paragraphs in there that have, were written just with him trying to portray a certain character. I feel like you've got that stereotype uh, of like, of women or girls that are like, I'm not like other girls. And I feel like what he's doing is, I'm not like other royals. <laughs> and he's really trying very hard to portray that. And uh, also what is kind of cringy to me, but maybe that's because I'm not from uh, the UK, is that he continuously calls everyone mummy, granny, grandpa, I'm not sure. And then William, he continuously calls Willy. I feel like it would have been easier if he would have just used the full names. I'm not sure. It just Sometimes it feels a little bit too personal or cringy to read about Willy or about granny. I don't know. But overall, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I'm definitely just continuing on with that. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to cuddle with the cat a bit. Also, we've got a little cute little couch over there, which to be honest, is a lot bigger than we had expected, or at least it looks a lot bigger, so I definitely need to get used to it. That could potentially be a great reading spot for in the weekend, uh, in the sun. Oh, that's the cute little cat. I cannot look. That's the cute little Mia. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's an update on the reading, and I will talk to you guys soon. And I will update you probably again tomorrow or day after. Also, continuously wearing sweaters right now because it is getting very cold in the Netherlands again. So this is our beautiful couch. I've actually put on my jacket so that the cat doesn't scratch it. But you come in over here and then obviously that's something that we're gonna remove at one point. You come in here and it's completely over in here and as you can see it's a pretty big one. So we definitely, I'm not sure if it's too big but look how comfortable that would be big looking outside obviously it's pretty dark now but when it's light i think that would be great hmm don't you think that would be great It is Thursday the 19th of January and I thought it's time to close off this vlog which might seem a little bit early because we're only a week in but I am off tomorrow, Friday and I'm actually also off the entire week next week so I've got almost a week and a half holiday and I thought it might be nicer to have a separate reading vlog on that because we're also going to do some fun things. I might go to Rotterdam tomorrow because I really really want to get to Lush and there's not a Lush in my city because it is getting very cold. I mean it was beautiful weather this morning which you might have seen on some of the screens and now it's literally snowing and hailing and it's supposed to become very dramatic in the rest of the Netherlands the rest of the day so <sighs> a bit depressing but great weather for baths so I want to get some great lush bath what is happening over here on this new couch are you okay I want to get some bath bombs and bubble bars from lush so that's why I'm heading to Rotterdam, because if I go by train, that's like, what, maybe 20 to 30 minutes away, 25 minutes away or something. So that's very short. And Rotterdam, I'm sorry, the cat's being so cute down here. Oh, and she's now kind of moving the camera, maybe. She's moving the stand that I'm using for the camera. So if I'm moving, that's the cat. She is the cutest. Okay. Anyways, in Rotterdam is also one of my favorite bookstores, which is Donner. 
So obviously if I'm gonna go there for lunch, I might as well also visit the bookstore. So I'm gonna go to Rotterdam. We might go to the Efteling next week because my boyfriend's also off, which is a theme park in the theme of fairy tales. So uh, fairy tales by the Grimm brothers and Hans Christian Andersen, which is obviously a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, we might gonna make pizzas. We just got lots of plans. And I've also got lots of plans to read a lot. So I really have a set of books that I wanna get into. I haven't read that much yet this year. Well, that's not true. I haven't finished that much this year, but I haven't, I have been reading a lot. But yeah, I thought it's just nice to have a get dedicated reading vlog on that. So I just wanna close this one off. Main read is still infamous. And I'm actually, I've read a few chapters uh, this morning and I'm actually very addicted. So it could be that I finish this today or tomorrow already because I'm so much into it. And it's a very fast read so far, really, really enjoying it. I finished Scattered Showers, which I already mentioned. I really, really like this. The only thing was, and I think I already mentioned that before, about, I wanna say 60% in, I was feeling like, is she eating the plant? Was she just eating the plant back there? A little bit like 60% in or something. I was feeling like it became a little bit too much of the same. We had the boy-girl situation that either already know each other or that were falling in love immediately. And it was just a lot of the same. And I didn't really like that. And then I got the story of, I think, Man Meets Troll or something like that, which was, <laughs> which was different, uh, which I really enjoyed. And then we got some other stories as well. So I think the further I got into it, it became more interesting. And what I also really liked that there was there are three stories in there that relate to other stories by Raymond Rowell. So you have the Simon and Bear story, you have a story about Regan or Regan Fangirl, you have a story about someone from Attachments, and I think that's all uh, a lot of fun. So yeah, overall I really enjoyed this and it's just really heartwarming and loving and cutesy and I think if you like that then this is a good one. I think this is a good one to get back to uh, if you feel a little bit down. I'm still reading Spare by Prince Harry and I'm still enjoying it. I'm also watching Crown Season 6 now with my boyfriend so that feels really fitting. And I've started a new audiobook, but this is all for the future probably, but that is Trust by Anon Diaz. I think the cat coming here is completely made this ending very chaotic, but she's just so cute. And she's going in for the plant again. Okay, I'm gonna close off this vlog. I will see you again almost immediately after probably in my new vlog. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this small vlog with some beautiful excerpts of my beautiful house. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.